Hello, this is Jay with Mobile Home Partners here making another video. Um, new question, different question. Um, I think I made a, a video on something like this already, slightly explaining it, but I'm going to go into a little bit more detail. This question came from a wholesaler. Um, that's typical, I won't disclose their name, but the, their question was, how do you grow a buyer's list? So this specific wholesaler, uh, she's doing pretty good, getting a few deals uh, lined up, locking up a few deals I know, but now her issue is selling them. So, you, you know, like any other thing with any exit strategy in the mobile home investing, you know, you wanna make sure that you have a buyer's list of some kind, some type of connection, networking, you gotta get out there and have some type of connections. Maybe you may not have a buyer for this specific deal, but you need to have networking in place where you know other investors that might. And this is where you connect, obviously. But the best way to get a buyer's list, you know, to me, it's always been, you can't go wrong with social media. As big as it is, as much as you can post for free, I mean, you know, letting people know that you have product, in this case, mobile homes, and that any buyer is interested, you know, that's how they can come to you. But... You need to be able to post ads, post comments, you know, on certain mobile home pages. Here's how I do it. Okay. Basically, Facebook market is huge and is only growing. It seems like every city, county has their own little buy, sell, trade, whatever. These are the pages that you need to add onto your market and basically go on and just throw a comment on it. You know, it can be discussion. It can be an ad. Be careful on those. You know, Facebook can block you and that's one little, you know on it but a if you go under and just simply put a note what they call it, I think it's a discussion what I usually go on there and put is uh, who's buying mobile homes any investors in the area are looking for mobile homes you know let them know that you have something and again connect because the more you network the more you people you know the easier it, it'll be not just to sell but to buy you know you, you want people calling you selling you something but you also want people calling you asking you what do you have I have I have investors, uh, big investors now that call me. One specific calls me every other day. Do you have anything else? Do you have anything else? That's great. Because and no, I don't. I hate telling them no. I don't have anything right now. You know, obviously with this whole situation going on, it slowed things down. I will be making a video on that, by the way. The coronavirus, my thoughts on, etc. But uh, basically, let them know. You know, no, Danny, I don't have anything at this time. But you know, as soon as I have something, you know, you're my go-to. And he knows that. He knows that. You know, because at the same time, they bring to a note, but. Uh, you want to have those investors that you keep selling to and they keep coming to you. So like this investor, he knows, he still checks with me every day, but he knows that any deal in his area, he's going to be my first go-to guy. That's every time. And it's the reason that, you know, we have a connection there. I know what he wants, what he's looking for. He knows what I'm doing, wholesaling when I do some of these here. And so therefore the, the, the networking is there. So, you know, and that's something that you need to grow. Not just have a buyer's list, but you need to have strong buyers. Those strong buyers that are constantly buying, whether they turn around and resell them, wholesale them, whatever, that's irrelevant to you. You find a deal, you call them, y'all put it together, and you make your buck. Uh, that's essentially if you're wholesaling, and I say that because the wholesaler has sent this question in here. So th that's what I would do is I would definitely network. I would brand and market out there. I would go on to Craigslist is another avenue go on and post an ad, you know, I have mobile homes, cheap, affordable, whatever, who is buying, and just see what kind of reaction you get. People will call you, may send you an email, text you, whatever, you know, all that's great. Take these numbers, write them down, and see exactly what these buyers want. Is this a one-time buyer, maybe just need something for his property? Uh, it may be, and that's great. Go ahead and take it down, but again, you know, essentially, you want to also get the strong investors. Maybe some of them have mobile home parks. I deal with a lot of those who basically come and tell me, hey, I got 10 empty slots. So, in a sense, you know, to me, I got to get 10 homes. I have to get this guy 10 homes for his for his park. So, but just post out there. Every other day, uh, two, three times a week, go on and just throw a comment down. Let people know that you're out there, you're an investor, you're a wholesaler, whatever you're doing. But let them know that you have product that they may want. Have them come to you. That's at the end of the day, that's what you want. Is them coming to you, just questioning, asking you, what do you have? And anything you have on, on your sheet, obviously, there you go. There's a deal. What you don't want to do, a little more into the wholesale, is you don't want to constantly be locking deals up. And sure, you can back off, but remember credibility also. You don't want to be that guy, that investor that constantly locks deals 
and then you can't sell them and you're backing off. This is only time wasted for you. It is time wasted for the seller. And eventually that, that word is gonna spread, not in, in a good word for you. They're gonna remember is you, um, John Doe. John Doe doesn't buy anything. John Doe is just wasting my time. He's locking these deals. He's taking two, three weeks. He has a ton of people come to my houses. He's not buying anything. You don't wanna be that person. So get you that buyer's list growing. Get you, I would even suggest get that buyer's list before you even start locking the deals. See what people want and then get the product, okay? If you know that there's certain people, example, Savannah, I have a lot of buyers in Savannah. So I know that any deal that comes to me from Savannah, I'm gonna lock it up because I'm most likely gonna have a buyer. At worst case scenario, you know, I, I may just supply my, my buyer. If I don't make a whole lot on the deal or whatnot, at least I keep that buyer steady coming, steady coming. You see, not every deal is a great deal, but essentially, you know, you gotta make sure that you're feeding that person who needs you also. All right, as usual, I hope I explained them to the best of my ability, educational purposes only, of course, so stay tuned, more, more videos are coming. I've got a few more questions here, and I think I'm going to go ahead and do a couple videos, uh, probably tonight or tomorrow morning, and, and upload them, but uh, visit my page, mobilehomepartner.com, you can go to all, any of my links there, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you know, just visit all them. I do have uploading educational posts also that I'm posting on Instagram and Facebook, especially LinkedIn is also on there. So, but you're welcome to visit me. Send me an email directly, the letter J G A R C I A at mobilehomepartner.com. Give me a call. I still take calls every day. 770-855-1298. All right. Till next time. Thank you for watching.